Not all storms come to destroy. Some storms come just to clear your path. Oh, there's a gun right there. I never really think about it like that. But it is true. Run in the drill! King E. 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 I like chicken. I like beef. I like spaghetti with a whole lot of meat. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Moment, aka King E. And today, you know what it is. You see the vibe, baby. Today, we got some cabbage, some candy yams, some no what are you, northern beans, white beans, cornbread, a little bit of meatloaf. As a matter of fact, cue it. Yes, sir. Ski. How y'all day been going? How y'all day been going today? I hope everybody day been going Copa Stodic. My day been going one to five, y'all. Let me get into it. Hold on. Damn. Mm. Y'all, I mean, y'all don't know, but those y'all who don't know, this is ground turkey. It's not ground beef. Well, y'all know, I try my best to stay away from the ground beef. Be. Even though it do call me sometimes. It do call me, but nine times out of ten, I ignore the call. I bet you nine times out of ten, I ignore that call. But the ground beef do call me sometimes, but nine times out of ten, I try to ignore it. You know. Sometimes they beef be calling me, but. Mm. Nine times out of ten. I'm able to ignore it. Mmm. Mmm. Now, let me know. Let me know the fire. Let me tell y'all. Put a little bit of oil. Uh, the true time. Not a lot. Not a lot. That's enough right there. That's enough. I'm going to put too much on it. Because it is hot. I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. Let me say this, y'all. And it's dope for everybody. In life, right? You gotta be careful how you treat people. Let me tell you. You never know. Mm. Mm, what kind of meat this is? What kind of meat this is? What kind of Tastes like ostrich ankles. I ain't too sure. What does it taste like? But, down here, in life, you always tell how you keep people, right? I'm going to tell you how it is. It's a lot of 
people out here that got a position or maybe have some kind of authority and they use that to their advantage to use people or to mistreat people. We'll say it like that. As you all know, some of y'all might, some of y'all might not know that your boy I started a non profit organization, right? And what we do is we go out, we feed and close the less fortunate. You hear it, you want to see it? Big Brother Happy Hand. That's the name of the organization. We also across every platform. Oh, it's in there. Mm. Well, the chicken is in that cabbage. I think it. I think that. But, like I was saying, What we do is, we go around and close and we feed the less fortune. That's what we do. So, So ready to eat, y'all. I'm young. I was so ready to eat. Oh man! So I don't know about where y'all was at. But where we was at this past weekend, it was raining extremely hard, right? Extremely hard. But y'all know, we better have a hand. We was out there. We was out there in it, right? So we came across. This elderly woman. We came across this elderly woman, y'all. And we got to try and help her. But to our surprise, We found out this lady couldn't walk. Now I'm pouring down raisin, right now. She's in the rain. Basically almost on the sidewalk. So we're trying to help her. And it's this building that's across the street from her. Right there, right across the street. And we kind of heaven. She's like, no, nah, I can't walk. She had a wheelchair. And we was like, well, would you like us to help you into your wheelchair? 
and maybe we can wheel you across the street to this building because they had like a like a big like almost like a porch almost and we were like we can wheel you over there you know You can get out this rain. <clears throat> she was like, no. <clears throat> no, they don't want me over there. I'm like, they, who is they? I've come to find out. This is a woman's shelter. That she's across the street from. I'm not knowing what the situation is. With the shelter, but I do know the facts. Which are these ladies homeless. At least from what I can see, she's homeless. Because we ride by her all the time and she's always in that same spot. So this lady is homeless. She's elderly. She's sickly. And she can't walk. She can't get around. That I do know. What are the requirements to be in that facility? I don't know. But what I do know is I had an organization, a woman's organization, and it was an elderly woman across the street from my facility, laying in the rain. Even if I couldn't get her a room, now this whole I know some of y'all saying maybe they ain't see her. The whole front of this building is glass. Whole front of the building is glass. People was pulling up while we was out there trying to help them. Going into this building. I'm like, this ain't right. It's just not right, y'all, because I feel like even if you couldn't be in the facility, get a chair, let us sit in the lobby or something, at least until the rain died down, let it can't walk. I just feel like, not saying this organization, but a lot of organizations, when they start to get funding and all that kind of stuff, I think they forget what their mission was in the beginning. I get it. Certain guidelines you have to follow. I get that. But sometimes you have to do what you have to do to save somebody. Cause you know what she told us? She said nobody cares about me. She said they'll just let me die out here. That's what she said. And I look at these people. Day in and day out. And I listen to some of the things 
Did they tell us some things they done went through? Oh, I tell people all the time. Now you better be blessed. You better be thankful. You better have an attitude of gratitude. Because your life could be in so much worse shape than it is right now. Because when you go out there, when you pass those people, you could be one of those people one day. I never looked at. The, I, I I actually heard stories. What do you people say? People just treat them like they. What do you think these people are? I'm gonna tell you something. All these people are not drug addicts. I get it. A lot of y'all might think a lot of these people are drug drug addicts. addicts. But not all of them are. A lot of these people are pretty, pretty intelligent people. They just fail on the hard times. That's all. You never know. What, 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 you never know what. journey what part of your journey you'll be on tomorrow so be thankful for where you at today so you can be on a whole different path tomorrow so take advantage take advantage I love y'all. I'm gonna get here. Be ready to have a hanger? Might be coming to a seat in here. You. Might be coming to a seat in here. You. I'm being honest with you. I'm on me, it's half me, it's not me. Nigga, fuck me, I'm dead! <laughs> I love y'all. Anybody tell you yesterday, love y'all, love you. Anybody tell you day before that, they love y'all, love you. If anybody told you in 2023, they love you, can't eat love with that man. That's all I got. Ain't no more. Time is tight. That's the end of my show. So grab your hand, make a fish, listen to me, and remember this. I tell it to the hot. I tell it to the cold. I, ooh, excuse me. I tell it to the young. I tell it to the old. Don't want no laughing. Don't want no crying. The most of all, no signifying. I love y'all. I'm going to eat out there. Eat, eat. Everybody else? We the gang. Now, gang, gang. We're not the same. Eat. Eat.